So, on to the next beer. This is my Black IPA, uh, my recipe that I've brewed uh, this, several times now. And uh, I've been having a lot of trouble getting these goddamn half liter bottles to carbonate. It's been in the bottle over three weeks now. You can see it's still not carbonating worth a damn. But I think that that was, um, you know, it's, it's, it's got a decent carbonation. I've put this, uh, I've put this beer on keg before and it's had like the craziest, nicest, big top tan head on it. But, uh, had to bottle carbonate it because I was giving a bunch of bottles away and, uh, well, this just made me want a beer gun even more because I, I just don't like bottle re-fermenting anymore. It's... After kegging, you just can't go back. But this is a, um, this is a, uh, my black IPA, or black ale, black IPA, I'm gonna call it, because it's, um, it's based on a nice stout recipe, so it's got that nice roast in it, it's got the roast character is dominating, and then it's just bombarded with sriracha ace hops, which... You don't see in black IPA very often, and I think it gives just a really cool, really, really cool um, kind of flavor, augmented flavor to the um, to the hops, or just to the hops, to the malt. Yeah, I can smell, um, I smell like coffee and bitter chocolate, but um, the Sriracha Ace gives it this kind of minty type of... Uh, it's, it smells like, um, yeah, in, in Europe you get, um, you get these, uh, little mints, they're called after eights, and they're, you know, chocolate-covered mint. Uh, I think in the U.S. they were called, like, Andes mints or something. I used to get them after dinner. Uh, but, uh, that's kind of what it smells like. It smells like, yeah, chocolatey mint. And the smell is, or the taste is really similar too. It's, it's got that, um, it's got that roastiness. So it's got a lot of chocolate coffee. There's no, it's not like a licorice -y type stout. This is all straight up chocolate and, and, and coffee. And then those hops are just there, like, just changing it into, I know that a lot of people call Sriracha Ace, they say it tastes like dill. I never taste dill. Uh, in this beer, I taste mint and a little bit of citrus, so like uh, minty chocolate citrus. It's really cool. It's one of my favorite recipes. Um, this uh, particular batch uh, did a big uh, hop stand on it, uh, did a big dry hop on it, and uh, I wish that the hops had a little more... Um, a little more character, but they, they come out in the taste a lot, and it's got a decent bitterness uh, in the mouth. It's super dry. I used uh, an active US05 cake on this, and it dropped lower than it has in the past. This dropped all the way to 1010, which I blasted it with a bunch of oats, so you can't even tell. You can't even tell that it's it's got a really nice... It's got a dry mouthfeel, but it's um, it's slick from those oats, so it's not um, it's not that kind of like astringent super dryness you can get from um, dark beers that go too low, uh, gravity wise. And then the hot bitterness kind of balances it out too. I love this beer. This is one of my favorite beers I I brew. And um, yeah. I really, it's only going to get better, it's only, it's actually better on keg, but it's only going to get better in the bottle as it gets a little more carbonation in it, and um, next version is definitely going in kegs, though, for sure, because the other thing I love about this beer is it's ultra, ultra, ultra smooth. I mean, you can see I'm just drinking, I'm just drinking away at it. Super smooth, that minty taste. This is a 7% beer, a 7.1, this one. So I mean this this will sneak up on you. This is a good this is a drinker right here. I I really love this beer. So uh I wish I could give the recipe away, but it's um that's not entirely possible because it's uh 
it's not technically homebrew anymore, which that's a story for another homebrew Wednesday, um, maybe in a month or so. So uh, I wish I could give you the recipe, but uh, that's out of my hands. It's a great beer, though. So now I gotta now I gotta drink it because I only have two glasses, and I got one more beer. So there'll probably be a jump here. You might not even see this part. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to power through this though and still be awake for the for the next one. I finished my glass of uh, black IPA, and uh, I'm gonna do one more beer. I don't know. This is getting kind of long, so maybe this will. Maybe this will have to be two parts or something.